Discord is a super hot platform right now and Discord bots are even hotter. So I'm gonna answer one of the most popular questions that I get and that's how can I get started making Discord bots and where do I put them? We'll also talk about the concepts and mechanics of a Discord bot so you can better understand how they function. Although you can make a Discord bot with pretty much any language out there, we're gonna focus on specifically JavaScript using the discord.js framework and then Python using the discord.py framework. These are in my mind the two most comprehensive frameworks as well as the most actively maintained ones. And after we're done working up some basic bots, I'll give you some options for some hosting. So let's get started. Conceptually and mechanics wise, Discord bots are actually quite simple. It's really nothing more than a program that's subscribed to the Discord gateway, which pushes down every message from every server that it's in into the program. Once it's in the program, you can use information like the server, the channel, who sent it, as well as the message content to determine if it's something that the bot should do something for. Once the bot does determine that it has to do something, whether that's sending a message or kicking a user or adding a role to a user, then it can interface with the Discord API to perform that action. And that's really all Discord bots are. They listen to messages and determine if there's an action to take. So let's jump into actually making the bot. And the first step to making a bot isn't actually to make the bot, it's actually to register the bot with Discord and get it in your server. To register your bot with Discord, go to the Discord developers portal, click on applications, click on new application, and then supply a name for your bot. I'm gonna call mine body make bot face, and then click create. Once here, click on the bot section on the left and then click add a bot. And then from this warning, click yes to do it. At this point, the bot's ready. Now you can join it into your server. There's two pieces of information you have to gather to join the bot to a server. The first is the client ID, which you can get from general information. So click the copy button and then just copy that somewhere for safekeeping. The second piece of information is the desired permissions for the bot. To get that, click on bot, scroll all the way down to bot permissions, and then specify the permissions that you want the bot to have. In my case, I'm going to give it the view channels, send messages, and read message history. At the bottom, you'll see the permissions integer. Go ahead and click the copy button on that as well, and then paste that into the same place as your client ID. Once you've done that, scroll back up, click on the link that says learn more about bot users, and then scroll down to this URL example here. Copy that and copy it into the same place as your client ID and permissions. All we're gonna do now is swap out the two pieces of data in the URL with our data. So we'll start by taking our client ID and we'll paste it on top of their client ID. And then we'll take our permissions integer and we will put that in place of the one here at the end. You can then take that URL, put it into a browser, and you'll see a window like this, which is basically saying that you're going to connect body make bot face with the server. So in this case, I'm gonna put it in engineer man. If I were to click continue and authorize, it would then put that bot in my server. Now keep in mind for non-public bots, you must be either a server owner or an administrator to make this happen. If you try to use that URL and you're neither, you won't see the server in the list. After I did that, I went to check my server, and as expected, it says body make bot face was joined into my server at 10.08 p.m. Now we're actually going to make the bot and we're going to start with JavaScript and then we'll go to Python. What you're seeing here is the most basic possible bot you can have. It's nothing more than a bot that just listens to all the messages and nothing else. Inside the login here is going to be our bot token. This can be thought of as a really long password that lets Discord know that our program is authorized to act as that bot. So to get the token, go back to developer tools, go back to your portal and then click click here to reveal token. And then it'll show this long string of characters and numbers. Go ahead and copy that and then paste it inside the login. Before we go any further, very, very important warning. Never, ever, ever share this token with anybody. Don't commit it to a repo. Don't post it publicly. You have to keep it secret. And the reason for that is anybody that has this token will be able to take actions on your server according to the permissions the bot has. If the bot happens to be an administrator, somebody could use this token to ban every member in your server. Or worse even, they could DM all of your members scam links or they could just spy on your server. For the purpose of this video, I'll be leaving it out in the open as well as committing it to a repo, but by the time anybody watches this video, I will have invalidated this token. So let's do something really simple with our bot. All we'll do is we'll just have it print to the console the content of every message that it sees. And what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna put the bot online. So you can see up here in the top right hand corner, you can see that body make bot face is not actually visible. It, basically the bot is offline. But what'll happen is when I actually run bot.js, as soon as I run it, you can see body make bot face comes online now. So basically anytime your program's running, the bot will show online. Anytime your program's off, the bot will show offline. So now if I type some stuff into this channel, it should also show up in my terminal. So now that the bot's online and listening, we'll have it actually respond to something. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to look for the phrase, hello, body make bot face. And then if the bot sees that, it will respond with hello with an exclamation mark. 
So to do this, we'll just look at message.content. I will say if message.content equals hello body mic bot face, then what it should do is do message.channel.send, and then it should send the message hello with an exclamation mark. What I'll do now is start the bot back up. And then if I type messages, you can see that the bot doesn't respond. But if I give it the key message of hello body mic bot face, then it says hello. And this is really the core mechanic of bots. I'm analyzing the content of a message and then I'm deciding if I should do something with it. Moving on to the Python version, the concepts are exactly the same. It's just different syntax in the way it works. But nevertheless, we'll go through the same exercise. So just like we did with the JavaScript version, we'll start by just printing out the message.content. We'll come back to Discord in our terminal and we will start the bot up by doing Python 3 bot.py. And this makes the bot come online. And then as we type messages up here, we can see that they get printed out to the console just like it did in the JavaScript version. And just like the other one, we want to make it so when we say hello body McBot face, it says hello. So we'll actually, the, the code's actually so similar that I'm just going to copy the JavaScript version over into here. I will get rid of the braces, the parentheses, put a colon there, and then that's going to function the same way. So we'll go ahead and our, we'll start our bot back up. We can see that we can type messages and it doesn't actually say anything back, but if we do hello body McBot face, then you see it replies with hello. So we saw two examples here, one with JavaScript and one with Python, and you can see that they work roughly the same with roughly the same amount of code and the exact same concepts. In terms of how and where to host your bot, you do have a couple options. The first option is simply to run it on your computer and just leave it on forever. But this has a couple downsides. You have to leave your computer on all the time and you run the risk of having your bot go offline if something like a power outage happens or your computer suddenly restarts. The second option and the one that I highly recommend is to use a cloud host. And the cloud host that I highly recommend for this purpose and other purposes is Linode, who's both the largest independent cloud computing provider and also the sponsor of this video. And of course, Linode is not just for Discord bots. They're an affordable option for projects of all sizes, ranging from personal websites up to businesses with millions of visitors. They have tons of different plans, starting for as low as $5 a month. Getting a cloud server online is quick and easy. Start by picking the image that you want. They have a bunch available. I'm going to pick CentOS 8. Pick a region that you want. They have North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. I'm going to pick Dallas, Texas for my purpose. Select a plan. I'm going to pick the $5 a month one. And then after that, supply a password and then click create. It only took about 40 seconds for the server to create. Now it's ready to go. Although setup is quite simple, should you run into any problems, they have an amazing customer service team operating 24-7 by both phone and support ticket, as well as hundreds of guides and tutorials to help you out. You should definitely consider Linode for your Discord bot or any future cloud computing needs. To sign up, go to linode.com slash engineerman. And right now, Linode is offering a $100 60-day credit for new accounts. The link will be in the description as well. Once you've transferred your bot files to your cloud host, simply run the bot just like you would on your own computer, except now you don't have to worry about it ever going down. Hopefully I was able to answer the two common questions for Discord bots, how to make them and where to put them, and hopefully you can go on and use this knowledge to succeed in making your own Discord bot. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, please leave them below in the comments. And other than that, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.